in general, what, what, what do you think that, and specifically Hispanics, like why don't we invest for the future? Like why don't we have that in, in, in our preview? So the, other than real estate, I think real estate is a concept that's transcendent upon every, you know, culture and every, um, yeah. you know, every, every country. But the stock market is a foreign concept to anybody who hasn't lived here. Mm. Like stock market does not exist in Dominican Republic in the way that we know it. Stock market does not insist, exist in Mexico, and, and the stability around it does not exist the way we know it. So that's one thing. Like, there is no 401k or IRA type product. There's what's called a pension that your company, by the way, pays into. And, and your company is, go, is the one that's going to get you into retirement if you work for them for X amount of money. That's, that's the mentality. Matter of fact, that's the mentality that was here all the way through like the 50s or the 70s. Um, but there's no more pensions here. And I don't know how much that works today, by the way. It does. That, today, there's no pension. That, unless, you for for no pension. <laughs> unless you work for the government, Unless you work for the government, there's no pensions in your life, yeah. right? Uh, the government, if, if you're looking for that, you know, working for 20 years and you get a good pension, go to the government. But other than that, um, those concepts are foreign to our parents because they didn't have it. Like, it, it, they literally, it doesn't fit into their brain because they have not seen it. Uh, now, investing in real estate is what they know, right? Or investing in, 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 in building your own business. That's why there's a lot, a million entrepreneurs, if you think about Lawrence, mm -hmm. a million entrepreneurs with their barbershops and the bodegas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they know because that's what investing is in their country. You know, you know funny, funny story is that, <clears throat> I kid you not, I must have, I think I, I was still in high school and I was having conversations with my, with my friends and I was telling them, listen, man, one day, whenever I'm making money, like I'm going to buy a rental property. And to be honest, I didn't know all the terminology that I know now and everything that I know, but I was just like, it makes sense to buy a building and have people pay me rent and I'm paying for that and I'm living for free. Like as a teenager, that was my mindset. And that was like what I was familiar with. I mean, my uncle owned the building that we were renting from, you know? So I think that's a, that's a very uh, important point that you make and something that I didn't quite, I hadn't thought about before that it's, it's, that has, that has given me a different understanding, but it's, it's so definitely true. It's that, what you saw. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's your reality. So you know, it works because you saw it because you saw it personally. Yeah. So you know, it works. Why would you, why would you think otherwise? Right. Right. That's the same thing with our parents. They haven't seen anything other than entrepreneurial or, or, you know, that's why what, what, when, when they tell you to go to college, our, our parents specifically, what are the three degrees that they tell you to have to get as a, as a, come on, you know this. What are the three degrees? I know the first two is doctor and lawyer. Was the third one? Doctor, oh, and lawyer, and ingeniero civil. Right. Right. Exactly. Engineer. <laughs> right. <laughs> Those are the three, and that, that's across all Latin American countries. And so that's why they, when they say you should go to school, that's what they're thinking about. Mm, yeah, yeah, those yeah. three particular degrees, lawyer, doctor, uh, and, and civil engineer, which, by the way, there's, you're not building any, any towers around here. <laughs> they're all pretty much <laughs> um, so, uh, so that's what they're thinking about, right? And so that's what they know. Again, going back to what you know is what you do. Um, and, and so that's where access to information is important. 